So I renovated my office recently, and I came across this big old box of drawings. Well, I say came across, but I knew this was here. Uh, also, my old um, my old schoolwork from the gym integration course. Let me know if you'd like to see a video about that. <laughs> it's heavy. See how heavy it is. Error. <laughs> I think this thing only goes up to five kilos, so. Yeah, 5,000 grams. So this is heavier than 5 kilos. So this is a box of drawings from two years, I think. I'm pretty sure I started collecting all of these when I started doing frame-by-frame -frame animations with paper, which we'll probably get to at some point. But there's also just other things that I've drawn on for my videos. This is when I was planning which stills I wanted to show at a certain time. I don't know which video, but you could probably figure it out based on what, what it says here. These are just some practice drawings, I think. Some cats and things. And here's our first storyboard. So when I draw storyboards, as you can see, they're not particularly detailed or easy to understand if you're not me. My, my, my aim is kind of just to do this as quick as possible so I save as much time as I can. I mean, if I'm the only one who's gonna see them, it doesn't really matter if they're easy to understand, right? So this is from the anxiety video. Look, there's the part where the doctor frickin' dies. Some more practice drawings. These were from when I wanted to do a draw something every day challenge, which is a lot harder than it sounds and eventually kind of just stressed me out. <laughs> it's a useful exercise, but it's also... I don't know, I feel like it depends on the kind of person you are, if it's actually going to help you out or not. And these are, I guess I was just trying to practice how I was going to draw a chip. Testing out another style maybe. More test drawings with a glaceon, with kind of creepy eyes. This is from the... Um, some kind of subscriber special where I animated the my intro song. Basically, I, uh, I animated all of the frames on the computer first, then I printed them all out, and then I took paper and traced over them to do the traditional part. We'll probably find those frames in here soon too. More practice, and another storyboard. There's the storyboard of the yikes. Without knowing the context of the video, this looks very strange. Which video was this from again? Was it artist problems? If you're wondering, I would tick off the sections that I'd already done already to both remind me where I where I am in terms of progress, but it also just felt really satisfying to have an entire page ticked off, which would motivate me to cross the finish line. What is this? This must be art problems video too. Drawing style is similar. Yeah, because this is the part where I'm like, you never have ideas throughout the day and then you go to sleep but suddenly you want to draw. Ah, this is from the this video that I was talking about earlier. This one is a little bit more detailed in terms of my usual my usual storyboards. You could see all the there's like little details about what kind of animations I wanted to add in. Interesting, there's a, this here says supportive people, but I never actually put this in the video. Because in the previous scene, a bunch of my characters would show up on the screen from, the, from all my videos. I think I also wanted to include the characters of my friends and people I admire, I guess. Um, but I probably didn't do that because I was afraid that I would miss anybody. You're all in. Is this also artist problems? It must be. I wonder why it's all muddled up. Maybe I was working on several videos at once. Here's some art. There's more actual drawings in here somewhere, I promise. <laughs> more storyboards. Ah, here we go. This is where we start to get to the hundreds of frames from my animated videos. Yeah, this is just a huge stack of animation frames. From some video that I can't think of right now. Probably sleepovers. So if you're wondering why I don't do much traditional animation anymore, this is part of the reason why. <laughs> These are only a few frames from just one video and we're not even- we're, we're barely part way into the box by now. I always prefer doing physical storyboards rather than digital ones because I just found them a lot easier to look at while I was working and I can scribble on it and all that stuff. Here's an example of a storyboard where I wrote down what I was saying in the video to kind of help me figure out which part goes where. 
This is another frame from that video with the Mordecai and Rippy Cups. Oh, here's the storyboard to my latest subscriber special. Now, here's a direct comparison. Honestly, like, this one was fun and had some creative stuff in it, but I kind of like the original one more. It has some kind of charm to it. This is from the short people video. <laughs> Can immediately tell by the art style. I am aware. Wow, I even color coded this one. Yeah, the green ones I animated in Photoshop and the red ones I animated in After Effects. Okay, we're back to frames again. So I don't know if you could tell, but what I started doing was animating multiple scenes reusing the same piece of paper. You can see that better on this one. See, four different scenes on the same paper. So yeah, using up a lot of paper was a huge issue, so that's why I, that's why I did that. Um, and I believe these ones are cut out because back in the day, I sent a couple of these out to Patreon supporters because I used to have a mail tier. On these ones, you can tell I was using a different kind of pencil because it looks a bit more crap. These were coloured with these, and these ones were these. These are the kind of two main artist colouring pencils that people recommend for people who want to make professional looking art but don't have a massive budget. And basically these are much softer, which meant they broke easier. It was a lot harder to colour in very small sections. You can kind of see how thick the pencil lines are. Oh, that reminds me of another problem I faced. Look here, the brown I used for chip is different because I would always run out of my brown pencils just from colouring in so many frames with chip in them. I wonder if you can still find that. Yeah, look. I guess I used a lot of blue as well. And these are the ones I, I was using at first. Yeah, the old brown is not even here anymore. <laughs> My practice drawing. Um, I guess this is also a practice drawing. Doesn't look that great though. Here's just straight up some blank paper. More and more storyboards. And then um, back to frames again. This is from the maths video and this is from the football video. Gotta be a bit quicker because I forgot to charge my phone before recording this. Could be quicker if there weren't so many storyboards. There's just not that much interesting to show you about these. Um, but if you feel like it, feel free to pause and see if you can guess which videos they come from. Okay, I think, I think all of these are from the same video. I don't remember what this video was about though. I'm just terrible at remembering my own videos. It's where people come up to me and reference something I did or said in a video. And I'll be there like, haha, yeah. More storyboards. Whoa, this one's red. There's me testing out which color brown I was gonna use. Turns out it was all of them. Wow, I conveniently labeled this one so I would know what it was when I looked at it in the future. This is hilarious because I never do warm-up sketches anymore. I did them once and honestly I just kind of forget to do them. I think here I was practicing how I wanted to draw different characters because I didn't want them all to just have the exact same body shape as Chip. We have found more frames. This is from the Insomnia video. Then this isn't the Insomnia video anymore. This is the Britain video. The one where everybody got mad at me for calling Britain a country. But it's like, mate. It makes the title shorter and easier to understand. I was just wondering why some of these were not coloured in. That's because I actually cut a lot out of this video. I totally forgot about that. This is like a Britain cut. Did I really miss- Did I really not use that or did I just leave it in as like, why? No, I- I'm pretty sure I didn't use this stuff. Back then I was very strict on my... Was I was I doing once a month videos back then or was I still doing once every two weeks? I bet I can find the script to this video, the old script to this video somewhere. And then I can let you guys know what, I, what exactly I ended up cutting out. I thought about doing a whole video about lost chip flake stuff. Let me know if you would be interested in that. I guess it would be like a compilation of old animations and things that I never used. Here's a drawing of Chip that I used as a banner. See, this is how the this is how the Prismacolors are supposed to look. And there's an Andrew. 
Maths is too hard. Maths are too hard. We're back to the maths video. Another problem I faced with the pencil of paper animation was that it's a lot harder to go back and fix something if you animated it wrong. Whereas with digital you can always replay it, always change things, always fix up your timing and everything. Honestly, I really enjoyed doing this style of animation and I think a lot of it turned out really nice. It's just incredibly impractical for YouTube videos where you kind of have to get the video finished before a certain time because it's your job, you know? More practice sketches. Chip wearing clothes? That is highly cursed. Look at this chunky boy. Uh, I. I have experimented a lot with the chip style because I was kind of just never happy with it as I'm sure many of you know already. This is the phrase from my old intro. Gosh, that colouring. This is where I was using really cheap pencils. I honestly didn't realise at this point how much of a difference spending a little bit more can have. But obviously it was like, I don't have a huge budget. <laughs> Got that huge stack and the rest are character stills. Those were animated, so there's a lot of those frames. And this was before I realised that, that I could reuse the paper for multiple scenes. So um, I was four times less efficient. I guess I was testing blue here for some reason. And there's also some thumbnails on the back. There's my gravy teacher thumbnail. An old sketch. I think I drew it here first and then and then when I was happy with it I traced it onto here so there wouldn't be any, any of these lines left over. Now we're getting into the very first videos where I was using this style. Most of the animations for this one came out pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cursed on its own. I remember I'm pretty sure it was the football video that I was very pressed for time and a lot of the animations didn't come out the way I wanted them to and I didn't have the time to remake them. And that was the point where I was reconsidering if I really wanted to keep doing this. Here's an animation that made me upset because I feel like nobody picked up on it. Chip puts on a sock that looks like poor and he has a weird stump underneath which is very disturbing but also kind of hilarious almost halfway through so since this is the part where i'm only using one paper for animation obviously this is uh, this is where there's a lot of paper oh that's my old icon it turned out so heckin cute Ugh, there's so many Living is wrong. I don't know what the context for that is, but I hope it's something not controversial. I'm just kidding. I would never ever say anything controversial in my videos. Like saying Santa isn't real or something. I would never do that. Yo, this tea animation. I was so happy with how this one when I watched the playback of this animation, I was like, yes, pencil animation is so cool and I don't regret this at all. And we all know how that turned out. Uh, I think these were all from the daily drawing challenge thing I did as well. Speaking of which, if you do like seeing random drawings of Chip like this, whenever I do them, I usually post them to Instagram. Hey, here's an old video ideas list. No, actually, this is when I made my reanimating animations video and I felt nervous and I didn't know what to say so I wrote down a few bullet points to get me started. And it worked! So the rest is just frames from, from the Liars video, I think? Well, I never thought I'd see the bottom of this box ever again when all that was waiting for me was this blank piece of paper. Oh, here's the haul for today, lads! And to be honest, I have no idea what to do with all the stuff. Like, this pile alone is just frames from from videos. And as an artist, the idea of throwing away all of this stuff, it hurts. 
but also like this is all taking up so much space and it's also kind of a shame that it just sits in my cupboard doing nothing so if anyone has any ideas what I could do with all this stuff, I don't know, like, maybe I could make, like, a collage or something, I really don't know. But if you do have any suggestions, let me know. And of course, if you want me to make that video about my old schoolwork from the German school, let me know if you'd like to see that too. And so yeah, that's all for today. New animation coming very soon. Thank you all very much for watching, and have a great day!